In this video, we're talking about one of my favorite instruments, the magnetic compass. Yes, I know, it's old school, but it is still, after all, one of the most reliable instruments in the airplane, and it is super fun to fly once you know what you're doing. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. So pretty much at a private level, we're taught that the compass will lag to the north and will lead to the south, and it does that by approximately whatever latitude you're at. So here in California, I'm about the 38th parallel, I guess we are, so the compass will lag by about 30 degrees to the north and will lead by about 30 degrees to the south, and we're taught that, but there is a lot more to the story, and today I'm gonna show you how to fly very, very specific headings using just your compass. Let's start with one of the very core principles of flying a magnetic compass, and that is if you're turning, don't believe it. So don't even look at your compass if you're seeing any turn at all, even something like that. See, <laughs> like even something like that on your turn coordinator is a turn. So, you know, these, these little miniature airplane wings have to be level, or if you're flying a glass panel, there can be no pink line, no rate of turn indicator coming out on the, on the 12 o'clock position of your HSI there or wherever you see it. So you can't be turning, but once you verify that you're not turning, you can look at your magnetic compass and you can read your heading right under the lubber line, that little white line down the middle. Uh, the second kind of golden rule is you have to pull headings in on a compass, okay? So if you see a heading that's to the left of the lubber line that you want, like, um, let's see, if we look at this example here, if we've got 330, if I make a, I have to make a right turn and I want to think to myself, I'm pulling the heading in, I'm pulling 330 toward me, all right? So just think about that. Remember, don't even look at the compass. So if I come out of this turn, I'm going to make my attitude, like using my sight picture, I make my wings level, then I verify zero turn on the turn coordinator before I even look at the magnetic compass. So as we just mentioned, a lot of folks know that the compass will lag by 30 degrees to the north and will lead by 30 degrees to the south. But what a lot of people don't know is that that's a kind of graduated scale all the way around where east and west are zero. And you can imagine if you're going from north to west, 330 would lag by 20, 300 lags by 10, and then west would lag by zero. And all the way around the circle like that. So you can fly pretty specific headings using the magnetic compass. Here we are in the heading of west. Let's just do a right turn here. This is a, I'm gonna go a standard rate turn to the right. And based on what we just said, when 330 passes under the lubber line, that's when we're actually gonna be headed north. All right, so let's see how this works. So on standard rate right here, there's 300. Okay, here it comes. We're just still turning standard rate. Right now when I see 330 on the lever line, good. Now I'm gonna go right to my attitude here. I'm gonna make my wings level. Then I'm gonna go to the turn coordinator and make sure there is zero turn before I even look at the compass, which tells me I am in fact headed north, okay? Let's go right to heading 240, okay? So from where we're headed here, we're about 020, and if I go right to 240, I know that it's southerly, so I know the compass is going to lead. How much is it gonna lead? Well, if it leads zero on west, it's 10. It's gonna lead 10 on 240. And it doesn't matter which way you're turning from, right? I can go a right turn or a left turn. The lead, the numbers of the lead will be different, but the principle is the same. It will lead by 10. If I'm coming from the left, then I would roll out when I see 230. If I'm coming from the right, I roll out when I see 250. That's what we're doing right now. Okay, let's see how this works. All right, I'm seeing south on the compass now. Now I'm seeing uh, 190. Good, now I'm seeing 200, 210. Notice how fast that thing moves to the south. Anyway, here we go. There's 220. I said I'm going to lead by 10. Looking for 240, so there's 23. Remember, the compass is going to lead, so I don't roll out until I see 250. 250, there it is. We're going to go wings level. I'm going to show no turn on the turn coordinator. That's exactly how that is supposed to look, my friends. You can see why it's so important to always set your heading indicator to your magnetic compass. The heading indicator can precess, and the magnetic compass is the truth. 
timed turns, right? A lot of people talk about timed turns, right? A two minute turn at a standard rate. Uh, so if I have to turn 180 degrees, I just turn standard rate for one minute. And, and that's fine, that, I mean, that's a, that works. You know, that's like uh, track up. You know, it's perfect if you don't really need to know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> However, I like to use timed turns as sort of a fine tuner, like the fine tuners on the violin. So I will go after a heading. If you say, hey Jason, turn left to 240 from a heading of north, then I know that's going to lead me by 10. So I will roll out when the compass says 230. Uh, if I don't get it exactly right, if I'm 10 degrees off, that's where I'll use timed turns as a kind of fine tuner three seconds this way or two seconds that way. Here's an example of me using that timed turn correction technique after I fail to nail a turn to the south. Turning to the south when the compass says 150, there it is. I'm going to make my wings level. I'm gonna go show no turn on the turn coordinator and I'm gonna look. Okay, there's an example. I'm actually headed 16. What am I, 170 here. So remember, you're gonna pull this in. I'm 10 degrees off. I'm gonna turn right for one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Then I'm gonna go back to wings level. Turn coordinator showing no turn. Then I'm gonna look at where I am. And you can see now, I'm on a heading of south. And that's exactly how this process should work. All right, aviators, that's a new skill for you to practice. Uh, please leave a comment below if there's a specific video you'd like to see. Remember that all the way from now through the end of the year, you can get a two week free trial of our Ground School app where we talk about stuff like this and much, much more. So if you haven't seen it, definitely go to learnthefinerpoints.com and get that free trial. Also remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. I'm Jason Miller. You guys are the best fans on the internet. And until I see you again, be safe and fly your best.